What's up, Vaccination? In this video, I am going to blow your mind with some hidden mechanics and secret tips you probably didn't know about Axie Infinity. Number 1. I'm sure most of us know abilities like Night Steel and Vegetal Bite steal energy from your opponents. Well, did you know that when this ability lands a critical strike, it steals 2 energy instead of 1? It also steals no energy if your opponent is out of energy, but you probably knew that already. Number 2. Speed determines turn order. This means that the fastest Axie will attack first. But what happens if two Axies have the same speed? Well, then the attack order is determined by low HP. So the lower HP will attack first. If the HP for both axes are the same, then the Axie with the highest skill goes first. If that is equal, then the Axie with the highest morale goes first. And if even that is equal, the Axie with the lower fighter ID ultimately goes first. This means that the nearer your Axie is, the ultimately slower it would be. Number 3. Want to be able to know if your Axie will go into last stand or die? Well, there's actually a formula to calculate this. I hope you're ready for some hardcore mathematics. Formula for last stand is based on two numbers. First, you need to calculate final blow minus remaining HP. Then calculate remaining HP multiplied by morale divided by 100. And then, if number one is smaller than number two, your Axie will go into last stand. Let's take a look at an example. Here my opponent's Aqua is attacking my beast who has 112 HP left. The Aqua hits for 160 and my beast enters into last stand. Let's see why. Well number 1 is equal to 160 minus 112, which is 48. Number 2 is 112 multiplied by 61 divided by 100. Since my beast has a morale of 61, and this is equal to 68.32. This means that number one is smaller than number two, and therefore my beast entered last stand. Now obviously this math is almost impossible to calculate in game. So an easier way to think of this is, the higher your Axie's remaining HP, the higher your chances of entering to last stand. So when attacking your opponent, order your moves so that you bring your opponent's Axie's HP as close to zero as you can before delivering the final blow. Number 4. Defeating certain bosses in the adventure mode earns you one-time SLP rewards. Level 21 has 6 stages with a nasty boss at the end. If you manage to beat this level, you will earn a one-time 200 SLP bonus. But be warned, it can be quite tough to beat. Level 34 apparently has a 300 SLP one-time bonus, but I haven't faced this level yet, so I cannot confirm this. Number 5. Do you know why secret classes are weaker than the basic classes? Well, before we get into that, let's take a look at the three different secret classes. You have Mech, which are an offspring of a purebred Beast Axie and a purebred Bug Axie. Dawn, which is an offspring of a purebred Plant Axie and a purebred Bird Axie. And Dusk, an offspring of a purebred Reptile and a purebred Aquatic Axie. The secret classes are quite hard to breed because there's only a 33% chance to create a secret class when producing offspring. Now we all know that when a class uses an ability of their own class, it gains 10% additional damage. But since secret classes then have their own set of abilities, they work like this. Dusk gets a 7.5% class bonus for reptile and plant cards. Dawn gets a 7.5% class bonus for bird and aquatic cards. And Mech get a 7.5% class bonus for beast and bug cards. And that's it. Thank you for watching Axie Nation. And I really hope you learned some new in this video. Please subscribe for more Axie Infinity related content. Axie Explained out.